Hi everyone, this is the third consumption theory. We have already done Keynesian consumption theory and thereafter we have done Fisher's intertemporal choice theory. This is the third one, life cycle hypothesis. So this hypothesis or this theory tries to solve the consumption puzzle. We did consumption puzzle in Keynesian theory, where Simon Kuznets ne kaha tha ki hamara short term mein APC jo hai, wo decline karta hai when the income increases and in the long run APC remains constant when the income increases. So this theory has tried to solve that consumption puzzle of why does it happen. Also it has along with it, it has actually given different consumption theory. So let us start with this. So as we have already discussed, this theory is given by Maud Gilani. And the purpose is to solve the consumption puzzle that came to light with the empirical study of data as per Keynesian consumption model. Fisher's model of consumption behavior, which we discussed in the second theory which I have put in two parts, video dala hua hai. Usme hum log is, isko solve karne ke liye Fisher's intertemporal choice model. It means that the consumer ki income hai, wo over the time period usko spread karta hai for consumption. The basis of this theory, the basis of life cycle hypothesis is that income varies systematically over people's life and the savings allow consumers to move income from those times in life when income is high to those times when income is low. Matlab, Suppose hum log, abhi hum log, uh, say we will work in our lifetime for 40 years and during this 40 years our income is going to increase whereas for the remaining period suppose that after retirement we are going to live for another 20 years. So during this time period our income is going to reduce and we actually need to consume from the amount that is saved while we were working. जब हम लोग काम कर रहे थे 40 सालों में और ये जो हमारी इनकम थी इसमें से हमने कुछ पोर्शन अपना सेव किया था और इस सेविंग को हम एक्चुअली यूज करते हैं जब हम रिटायर हो जाते हैं सो वी आर एक्चुअली डिस सेविंग दिस इज द बेसिस ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल हाइपोथेसिस now people want to save during the working years so that after retirement they can maintain their standard of living when there is no income. Standard of living is theory mein hum actually consumption ke basis pe define kar rahe hain. Ki suppose agar koi individual hai, wo har saal apna 80 rupees ka consumption karta hai, to wo ye chahata hai ki retirement ke baad bhi wo around 80 rupees ka hi consumption karta rahe. To iske liye uski jo income hoti hai, suppose uski income during the working life is 100 rupees to 100 rupees mein se 20 rupees every year save karta rahega taki usko wo dis save kar sake to consume after his retirement to agar wo 30 saal ke liye kaam karta hai to wo total kitna save kar lega 30 into 20 that is 600 aur agar wo suppose 10 years ke liye if he is alive after retirement so he can consume 60 rupees jo uska 600 save hua hai aur wo 10 uh, for 10 years he is alive so he can consume 60 rupees after retirement also pehle wo 80 rupees consume kar raha tha when he was working so this consumption remains almost same even after his retirement that is why people save during the work lifetime working time okay now here we are denoting this suppose t is to live another t years suppose we are going to live for another 50 years w refers to wealth y refers to income during working years and r uh, refers to retirement from now so suppose that we are going to work for another 30 years and t minus r total hume jitna we are alive minus r jitna hamara retirement years bacha hua hai so years after retirement will be 20 years so and this income suppose our income is 100 so ye 30 saal ke liye hum kaam kar rahe hain suppose we are earning 100 rupees per year now so lifetime resources kitna ho jayega total wealth that he has accumulated wealth kaun sa jo humne bola tha ki 100 rupees mein se hum 20 rupees 30 saalon ke liye save karenge so this will be our wealth of 600 rupees jo over the lifetime period hum log isko wealth accumulate karenge and here for simplicity we are assuming that interest rate is zero agar interest rate which definitely we practical terms, mein milta hai, then we will incorporate small r also here, but currently we are avoiding it. So this becomes w, w wealth plus r. r kya hai our retirement years from now, that is 30 into y, our income is 100, 
और जो हमने दिस इज़ फॉर द एंटायर लाइफ टाइम रिसोर्स दैट वी आर टॉकिंग जो हमने वेल्थ एक्यूमुलेट किया है दैट इज़ सिक्स हंड्रेड सो आवर टोटल लाइफ टाइम रिसोर्स विल बी सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस थ्री थाउजेंड दैट इज़ थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड और इसको हमें डिवाइड करना है बाय हम टोटल जितना भी अलाइव रहेंगे सपोज वी आर अलाइव फॉर नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स सो वी नीड टू डिवाइड दिस बाय फिफ्टी इन ऑर्डर टू सी हाउ मच वी विल बी एब वी शुड कंज्यूम एवरी ईयर टू कीप आर लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज़ टू कीप आवर कंजम्पन कॉन्स्टेंट सो कंजम्पन इन टी ईयर्स विल बी दिस डिवाइडेड बाय टी दैट इज़ कंजम्पन इज डिवाइडेड इक्वली इन ऑल टी ईयर्स सो इन ईच ईयर कंज्यूमर विल कंज्यूम इक्वल अमाउंट दैट विल बी सी इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू प्लस आर वाई डिवाइडेड बाय टी नाउ दिस विल बी द कंजम्पन फंक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू मॉट गिलानीज लाइफ साइकिल हाइपोथेसिस नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू सो इस कंजम्पन फंक्शन को हम ऐसे भी लिख सकते हैं सी is equal to dependent some portion of consumption is dependent upon wealth and some consumption portion is dependent on the income keynes ne kya kaha tha c is equal to c bar that is constant plus small c dependent on y so keynes said that consumption is dependent only on y whereas modgilani said in this life cycle theory that consumption is dependent on wealth also to jo hamara consumption puzzle ka difference aayega wo isi ki wajah se aayega we'll discuss that but first let us discuss this example suppose that consumer expects to live 50 more years that is this is t and the working years are 30 more so this is r consumption function jo humne yahan pe derive kiya hai this so we are simply going to put over here the values and we will get that this is the consumption function so when y is going to increase consumption is going to increase 0.6 jab wealth hamara 1 point se increase karega to consumption will increase 0.02 therefore we say that consumption is dependent upon both income as well as wealth whereas keynes said that consumption is dependent only on income remember his third conjecture wherein he said that um, income is the most important determinant people who who don't remember these things kindly go and see um the keynesian consumption theory on my channel please okay next is that we are saying that this difference of short term and long term consumption function arises because of this wealth component <clears throat> before that let us discuss this diagrammatically so here we say that this intercept this intercept jo hum ye c bar constant lete the इस इक्वेशन में देखिए जो हम ये सी बार कांस्टेंट लेते थे कीन्स में वो इनको कांस्टेंट बोलता था बट दिस कांस्टेंट कंजम्पन इज एक्चुअली कमिंग फ्रॉम द वेल्थ दैट वी आर एक्यूमुलेटिंग सो अकॉर्डिंग टू लाइफ साइकिल हाइपोथेसिस ए पी सी इज सी बाय वाई एल्फा डब्ल्यू बाय वाई प्लस बीटा वेर एज इन द केस ऑफ किनिशियन दिस वेल्थ कॉम्पोनेंट वॉज नॉट देयर सो वी से that c by y is equal to alpha w by y plus beta now this can be divided into two parts short term and long term in this short term what happens that increase in wealth is not proportional to increase in y तो जब हमारा इनकम इंक्रीज करता है तो सेम प्रपोर्शन से हमारा वेल्थ इंक्रीज नहीं करता है एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच दिस एंटायर रेशो रिड्यूसेस दैट इज वाई वी से दैट वे इनकम इंक्रीजेस ए पी सी रिड्यूसेस इन द शॉर्ट टर्म वेर एज इन द लॉन्ग टर्म इंक्रीज इन डब्ल्यू इज एग्जैक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू इंक्रीज इन इनकम देर फो दिस रेशो बिक रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट विद द इंक्रीज इन इनकम एंड हेंस इन द लॉन्ग रन ए पी सी रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस दिस इज द बेसिस फॉर द डिफरेंस ऑफ द कंजम्पन पजल दिस इज हाउ मॉट गिलानी एक्सप्लेन द कंजम्पन पजल सो अगेन गोइंग मोर इन डेप्थ इन द शॉर्ट रन वेल्थ डज नॉट वेरी प्रपोर्शनेटली विद इनकम फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन और ईयर टू ईयर सो हाई इनकम कॉरस्पॉन्ड्स टू अ लो ए पी सी एंड दिस इज द रीजन फॉर द शॉर्ट टर्म कंजम्पन फंक्शन बिकॉज वेल्थ इन अ वे रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट और डज नॉट इंक्रीज प्रपोर्शनेटली विद इनकम वेर एज इन द लॉन्ग रन वेल्थ एंड इनकम ग्रो टूगेदर रिजल्टिंग इन अ कॉन्स्टेंट रेशो ऑफ डब्ल्यू बाई वाई एंड हैंस अ कॉन्स्टेंट ए पी सी that is long run change in consumption function so in the long run as wealth increases the consumption function shifts upward as shown over here aur iski wajah se aap ye dekhenge ki hamara ye jo intercept hai ye bhi increase ho gaya hai and this prevents apc from 
falling as income increases so in the above way modgilani resolved the consumption puzzle again in layman terms basically modgilani ne ye bola hai ki jo hamara wealth component hai wo ek reason hai jiski wajah se short term mein hamara apc decline karta hai with the increase in income and long term mein apc constant rehta hai with the increase in income so now saving varies over over a person's lifetime If a person begins adulthood with no wealth, she will accumulate wealth during her working years and run down her wealth during her retirement years. तो अगर कोई start कर रहा है कि उसका कोई भी wealth accumulated नहीं है कोई भी savings नहीं है तो जितना time period के लिए भी वो काम करेंगे उतना time period में वो कुछ amount save करेंगे और जब वो काम नहीं करेंगे तो वो डिस सेव करेंगे सो दिस इज़ वॉट इज़ रिटर्न ओवर हेयर दैट ड्यूरिंग यंग दैट इज़ वर्किंग ईयर्स people are going to save whereas during old age that is retirement years people are going to dis save so as mentioned in this diagram on the x axis we have taken total years whereas on the y axis we have taken the total income of the consumer so as we can see that in the initial phase here there is no saving and the total years suppose that a person is going to work for 30 years and he his income is suppose 100 ye jo total income yahan pe display kiya hua hai this is 100 out of this suppose this person is consuming 80 rupees and he is saving 20 rupees for every year we are talking about therefore his total wealth accumulated will be 30 into 20 that is 600 whereas when he will stop working he needs to maintain or he wants to maintain the same amount of consumption that is standard of living even after retirement to usne jitna bhi yahan pe ye save kiya hua hai wo sab wo dis save kar lega and suppose that person is going to live for another 10 years after his retirement then he is going to equally divide this 600 into 10 years so this will become 60 rupees each and this 60 rupees each consumption is almost equal to this 80 rupees each to jab insaan kaam karta hai wo save karta hai aur jab wo kaam nahi karta hai to wo dis save karta hai apni consumption ko normal rakhne ke liye <coughs> so a person save and accumulate wealth during working years and this saves and dispose of wealth during retirement years so this is the modgilani's life cycle hypothesis exactly explained in just 3 pages if any doubt you may comment okay take care guys